So where are we going today, Jack? Are we staying home today? Oh, poor Jackie boy. Poor Jackie boy. Retro renovations do not go away. So today we're not travelling because Faith has lost all her water. So let's see, uh, see what's happening. The water leaking. Yeah. And it's from up here, so it could either be the pipe or the radiator. Yeah? So today's job is to inspect that. We're going to remove the scuttle panel, we're going to remove this pipe, we're going to lift the radiator out and inspect it. Tools of the trade, needed for today. Why do they do two different sizes? 10mm not 10 mil. How funny that is. 10 plus 11 that's 12. And look at the damage on the... Yeah. They're just going closer. Because they've used an aftermarket with that and then they've just hammered it on basically. Tap tap. Not me. Previous owner. So if anyone's asking why am I removing the battery it's because we haven't driven a lot for the last two weeks so why I'm working on this I'm going to connect up to the solo and just give it a charge sometimes you can feel the nut underneath and you've got a Put a bit of pressure on it because it's not feeding itself on the thread, but it don't want to come out either. This one just turns and turns and turns. I might have to do a screwdriver to lift that up. Bear with me. So you can get a nut out, put a bit of pressure under it. So if you didn't hear that because of the bike going past, if you can't get a nut out, you have to put a bit of pressure underneath it. So what Chloe's doing is she's put a flathead screwdriver underneath to apply the pressure whilst trying to undo the bolt. And, and it snapped! And then it does it. I was saying about 31 year old crack. And there you have it, 31 year old crack. But it's out. It's <laughs> off. It's off, it's out. <laughs> it's off. It's off. This is her accent then. Off. It's awfully off. Third time lucky. It's not in bad condition really for a 31 year old transit. I mean, I think it's had the wings replaced at some point. Why is, that's why it's got later wings than the star, which it should have for a Mark III. Well, yeah, bulkhead and everything is good. Can you come to help as well, Jack? Inspect Ins the work. Inspect the work. Over this way, work's happening over here. Is that all right, boss? Is that good enough? Is that good enough, Jack? Good. And as you can see, we've got a tub there to put all our nuts and bolts in when we take them out. So we don't lose any. Of the ones we snap. In it. In it. We've got MOT in two weeks time. So we're sending Peggy underneath to paint the chassis. For those not behind the camera, 
she's nodding like this. Like shaking. Shaking her head. <laughs> it's a. I nearly lost no. it. And now you've got yeah. one there. Well, that's holding this plate. There. That we don't need to remove. Our, and you've got this. I don't believe. Chloe? Yeah. You need that one. That's pretty colour. I've done all the bolts, I've taken the plastic cover off. That's there. I've undone this piece. I'm not undoing that because I don't want to disturb it at work. So we're just going to pull it to one side. Still yeah. attached. When we put it back together, we'll be a bit of spray, stop the rust. And here is the radiator. Uh, we're now going to take this one out and repair it. There you can see the rust mark going down the radiator where it's been leaking. Now we've got to find out why it's leaking from there. Is it the pipe connection bit here or is there something else amiss with the radiator? Let's investigate. I'm just going to inspect the radiator. I'm just looking around here to see why it would have been leaking. And all I can think of at the moment is maybe, just maybe, here, if it's slightly out, which is there's a ch little chunk there I can feel. You probably can just make it out. It would leak out of there and just drip. So as soon as it gets hot, obviously a radiator and hot water and steam, it would rise. And because it's not a perfect seal, it would leak. And that's all I can think of. But all I can think of is if I do that, it's not quite flat or flush so I would say the cause of the leak it's tube is... leak the reason why that's out there is because it's got to fit over that lug so there's a lug there that's why Jack, that's cut out get off on, Jack, move. so there's a lug there that's got to go I think over the tube leak was... maybe and it's the only thing I can think I can see anything wrong can give it a wash off and then we'll have a look for cracks or anything I think it wasn't. I'm Jack inspecting. I'm gonna go get some water. So we're just gonna get some water, clean it off, and then have a bit more of an inspection. Mm. So quite possibly the pipe and the jubilee clip not holding it in tight enough. It seems to be the pipe, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And even that's in good condition. So all in all it could be just a new jubilee clip. So what are you doing, Chloe? Flushing the radiator. So we've put some water inside. Because we haven't got um, a hose pipe where we could run the water through, that would be ideal. So, Jack, Jack move. Jack move. Yeah. Pretty grim. Yeah. It's like very thick coffee.
purchased a brand new Jubilee clip which I'm going to put on the end of the pipe we've cleaned all the pipe as you're aware so new Jubilee clip going on we'll feed that onto the pipe voila that's fed onto the pipe Now the radio is sat where it should be. Let's do this up. New Jubilee clip. We know that our pipe's all good. He's sealed all the way around. And it's a Phillips. Phillips. Let's do that. Once you've done them so far, change over to a socket and make sure you get the right size. <laughs> and make sure it just bites into the rubber enough so that you're getting a good grip. But not doing it up too tight that you'll snap the plastic pipe. I think that's a good job. Concentrate now. I've already put three leaves in. I've put another liter in. This is dilute. I'm doing it 50-50. And we're using blue because it's an old vehicle. Pink goes in modern vehicles. Red. Oh, that's pink. But it says red on the actual container. Yeah, common mm -hmm. does. Well there in it. I'm gonna put another litre of water in and see how we go. What about there? That's the full marker. You're in the way. Marker's there. The water's there. We're good. What we're gonna do now is run the engine for a bit and let those air bubbles come out, squeeze the pipes and so on. Jack does all the uh, supervising and inspecting, making sure everything's going fine. Isn't that right, Jack? Yes. I love you too. I know.